Not only have they taken away a wage increase for minimum wage workers as of this coming January, they also gutted Bill 148, which was improvements toward the Employment Standards Act and Labor Relations Act here in Ontario. We were relying on that $1 raise in January, and to take it away from us and hold it at $14 for three years is unconscionable. We are looking at getting a $15 minimum wage if we're lucky, by 2024! Yeah. Ford's government is scrapping two paid sick days. It's bad for workers and it's bad for the health of every Ontarian. They're also getting rid of equal pay for equal work. The new scheduling rights, making it easier for workers to fight for their rights to unionize. They got rid of that. They've turned their backs of workers in the province of Ontario and we won't stand for it. We're going to push back as hard as we can. Can the acting premier explain why working women and men don't deserve those kinds of rights in a province like Ontario in the year 2018? Last year, 80,000 jobs have been added and the minimum wage went up. So we will keep demanding 15. Come on, Doug, it's just one buck. And we are hundreds and thousands of business owners who support workers because guess what? It's good for business. This will be the start of many days of action. We're not going away. We're going to defend the rights of workers. We're going to fight for decent work. We're going to fight to ensure that no worker is left behind. We have to earn our rights. We're people that want to build the best Ontario we can, not only for ourselves, but for the next generation of workers. This is what the labor movement looks like. Solidarity, sisters and brothers.